took my edge off. <laughs> I almost forgot my medallion. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Whiskey Vault, I'm Rex. This I'm Daniel. Daniel. And we are continuing our Game of Thrones whiskeys. Yes. Now, what's the name here? Can this you, one can is... Can you pronounce this name? I think you probably can get this. This is the... <laughs> This is the Dalweni. You got this. Okay, are you ready? This is House Stark. House Stark. <laughs> All right, we got new episodes five days a week. Make sure you subscribe and get the bell on to be notified. So tell me about this. This so, whiskey. Don't tell me about Game of Thrones. You know nothing about Game of Thrones. I don't know anything about Game of Thrones, so I can't talk about it. Okay. Evidently, there's this dude named Stark. And this one time, this dude named Stark, he rode on this horse thing, and he had a house. You're not wrong. And so this whiskey's called the House of Stark You're... because of the guy with the house. You're... And he's known far and wide for his house. It's like, it's like back in the day... <laughs> Back in the day, he won like the Neighborhood Association Award no, now for, way for Castle now Landscaping. Way you could have. <laughs> he gotta... was featured in the local local uh, landscape magazine. Can I tell you this? For the tour of houses. I am so allergic to spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I want to talk about the show. But you don't want to ruin it for anybody? But I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Like, my family. <sighs> they love spoilers. They do. They really do. <laughs> they really do. Like, it was last week. Yeah, you were telling a story, a whole plot of a movie that right. Rex hadn't seen yet. I hadn't seen yet. So, is it matter? So, Rex left. As a matter, no, this is just standard practice. When yeah. people see me get up and leave, yeah. just walk, it's like, oh, like, yeah, he, it. he, he didn't want to hear you. <laughs> me and my brother, because we grew up with this shit, man, it was horrible. Me and my brother, we don't even want to see trailers. Yeah. We just get this sense that, okay, I want to see that, and then nothing else. Yeah. Nothing else. Well, trailers these days give away all the best parts of the movie. Yeah, a lot of this smells nice. Which, which so Dalwini is t is uh, classified as a Highland whiskey, yeah. although characteristically, pretty, I would say it's pretty space side. side, but it's not space side distillery. It's a Highland distillery. Mm -hmm. It's um, uh, one of the highest, I think, if not the highest distillery in Scotland. It's over a thousand feet above sea level, okay. up in the mountains. Yeah. So Go for ahead. those that are relatively new to whiskey, um, space side whiskeys from Scotland and a lot of Highlands are going to usually have like the lighter, fruitier, more floral types of flavors than, say, like a, an Isla whiskey or a, a Campbelltown whiskey or an Island whiskey, which are going to typically be heavier, brinier, smokier, peatier whiskeys. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Now, I would say that... Um, this is floral malty. Anytime I've tried Dawani, I get just a lot of pear and honey. I get uh, Fuji apples. No, mm. honey, honey crisp apples. Honey crisp apples. Honey crisp apples, floral notes, and uh, some maltiness. A bit of maltiness. Yeah. yeah. It's nice, man. It's really friendly. Yeah, and, and this is a kind of fruit that's actually fruity, mm -hmm. not overly candied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's pretty damn effortless, though. Yeah, it is. It's this 43%. Is... I want to try the original Dalwini. This, at 43%, it needs to be at least 40% to be considered a whiskey here in the States. Um, at 43%, that's that's even that surprising to me. This feels like a thirty-five percent whiskey to me. It's uh, it's damn near as effortless as drinking some water or some Gatorade. I can't find the other Dalwini. But I will say the uh, the finish stays with you. The most vibrant for, so far, the most vibrant piece of this whiskey is the finish, and you get this really apple honey floral finish that is it's it's clingy, it's oily, it stays with you a long time. Here it is. This is a Dalwini 15. Mm -hmm. no. By the way, Can we don't have an age statement on this. So no it's called statement. the Winter's Frost. Okay. So, uh, oh, this one's way more oily and uh, no, musty. No, on the finish in this, the, the Game of Thrones Dalwini, mm -hmm. it stays with you. It still has a lot of clingy oils. It's just, it's just it just flies by. It's invisible. In the this day. one is less sweet and more oil heavy and a little more metallic. I like the finish better on the regular Dalwini. I like the nose better on this one. Agreed. And I actually like the um, the flavors as, you know, toned down, as tamped down as they are on the Game of Thrones Dalwini. I like those flavors a bit better. I like the finish on the regular Dalwini, though. Mm. Let's add a dash of water and see if we can crack open some of the buried oils. Did you just put this one right here for this the 15? Is, this is your, yes, yeah, your 15 okay. there. Now, the... At 43%, I'm glad they didn't take it to 40 because this is almost too easy and effortless. Yeah, it would have been invisible. It like it's flying by. These are the kinds of whiskeys where if you're a regular whiskey drinker and you do like cask strength and stuff like this, 
Um, you got to be paying attention because it will fly by you pretty quick. Oh, that improved it significantly. It brought a little bit of pepper and it brought out the oils. You want a little in yours? Yeah, give me a little water. Yeah. Add a little bit of water to that winter's frost and it kind of comes alive yeah, a little bit. It wakes up a bit. It wakes up a bit. Where'd you put the... You know what? Yeah. I get why they chose uh, Dalwini because it's high up in the mountains in Scotland. Yeah. And evidently House of Stark is a mountainous house. You have seen in the movie. Show. You have seen the show. No, no, because they said it on the back of the bottle. <laughs> it's a mountainous house, right? Yeah. And so like, oh, high mountain Dalwini, high mountain House of Stark. Mm -hmm. But, but I would have. I think I would have preferred something a little smokier. Well, so my for the mountain is like six or seven out of. The nine Game of Thrones whiskeys aren't going to be smoky, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, they've got the Talisker and the Lagavulin and the Oven. Well, there's the Lagavulin. So there's three in there that will have some stuff. No, you mentioned like a Talisker and then two others that. I don't Talisker, know. We'll see. We'll see. Lagavulin, Oven. Spoilers, no spoil. don't spoil. Spoilers? <laughs> That's for me. Spoiler. Don't spoil for me. Oh, okay. I want to be surprised. Okay. 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 I actually haven't read any of the, the packaging because. I want to be I just, pleasantly I, surprised. I see a picture of a wolf, and I don't think of pretty, nice, wintry, light pear. I think of, ah, I want heft. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I think when it comes to them sourcing these whiskeys for what is probably going to be a mass market appeal. By volume, there's a lot more scotches coming out that are going to be fruitier, sweeter, friendlier, more floral than there are just the aggressive, challenging, smoky, peaty, yep. briny stuff, because... Just more people like. They want to sell more. Yeah, they want to sell more. All right, comment me. Uh, I was hoping to review. Got to shake off the rust. I got to read intelligently. I was hoping that this review was coming. Also, can we get an update on the Bastards Blend samples? That yes. Was... Okay. Why did you put this in here? Because it shows how bad we are. No, 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 no. <laughs> We've been trying to get the right packaging because we don't want to send these just stupid. Little, here's a baby bottle and a mail in a box. Right. It's like, no, it's got to be nice, right? So, for reference... We're 50,000 subscribers ahead of where we were when we made the blend. For reference, <laughs> uh, at 100,000 100, subscribers, mm -hmm. we did a live stream. And during the live stream, it's like, hey guys, in the comments, in the, in the, in the chat... Just shout out some whiskeys and we're going to grab whiskeys and put in a hundred different whiskeys to celebrate a hundred thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to send it to ten of your favorite YouTube channels. So put your favorite YouTube channels of people that you want to see get this hundred whiskey blend. And we still haven't done it and we're closer to 200,000 than we are 100,000. So uh, we're going to get it out at the end of January. Are we? Yep. Are and I've, I've found the boxes. It's never worked out for us for us to like no. name a specific day. I, well, I have a vice chancellor now. Okay. I've got time. All right. I found the boxes. All right. I found the boxes. I know how we're going to uh, pack them. All we got to do is write the note that's going to go into it to explain why the hell these people are getting a whiskey. Right. And then uh, we're going to mail it to everybody. I have the list. As soon as we mail them, we'll let you guys know what the list that you guys voted. Right. You guys voted, and the most repeated names on a, on the list are the ones we're going to send it to. It's 150,000, 157,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. By yeah. the way, this is a uh, dry week video. The dry videos are all finished up, mm -hmm. and if you successfully completed the dry week and you want to put your name on the whisk, the, the list of whiskey challengers. Yep, there is a link down below. That's right. Uh, a couple of little, little, little things here because I've been asked. Okay, I've been asked. Okay, it's like, well, guys, I just found out about about the dry week, and you know, it was like Wednesday or Thursday. Can I still do it? Does it still count? Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's less about legalistic, perfect adherence to our timeline, and the entire purpose of a dry week is to basically. Take an intentional break from whiskey, you know, about once a quarter, just to make sure it's a check-in, make sure there's no issues creeping up on you there. Unless your name is Dana Whittington, right. in which case, moving the dry week by only one day no. gets we, uh, we, all these repercussions, no, no, we've established and this. freak outs and meltdowns. Chill the hell out. We've established we are subjected to the most severe <laughs> interpretation of dry week law. <laughs> you and me. I had a drop of whiskey wash by accident. On the floor. On the floor. And by accident. <laughs> it was in a lens for the Patreon thing, and Deb didn't know what it was. So I 
put my finger in there, tasted it, I was like, it's whiskey washed, and I just broke the dry week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that right there, that whole thing was? Right. That was Lewis Black. Was it? I just broke the dry week. <laughs> <laughs> you just went all Lewis Black. Uh, Any more comments? Yeah, we got some comments. All right, bring it on. You know what? If I'm not reading your damn comments, we're 11 I'm minutes. I'm just worthless to you, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. You I'd mean like nothing to me. Comments. I monkey. just want you for your comment reading. <laughs> my comment monkey reading. Uh, this dry week has been the longest month of my life. It's a week, man. <laughs> uh, I received a few tasty and expensive whiskeys yeah. that are calling my name. Congratulations, Daniel, on doing the vice chancellor. Uh, he's being promoted to chancellor sometime. Not yet. Sometime. Currently, I'm still the bookkeeper. Well, the bookkeeper. The bookkeeper. Right, and I hope to see you bastards in October. Yes, the October thing. Yes, October. Oh, crap. What was the day? My 12? Mind I think it was the 12th. I'm going out on a limb. You're I'm saying the 12th. I'm saying the 12th. I think you are correct. I'm saying the 12th. 12th. It is the 12th. So the 12th is the most recent whiskey tribe party here that we are going to be doing once a year ish. Yeah. And uh, don't lock in travel plans yet. You just watch our other channel to figure out how to make a reservation to come. Right. Uh, you want another comment? You want to throw another one at you? Sure. Why not? Circle back to this while I read the comments. Your videos are awesome. Thank you, Stephen Shea. Oh. By the way, first comment was Firefly, fifty-five oh five six. Second comment was Brian eighty-eight. Mm. This is Stephen, Stephen Shea. Your videos are awesome. I've been drinking whiskey most of my life. When you say earthly tones, earthy tones, uh, and apple and oak, I have no idea what you're talking about. Can you do a video with say the four whiskeys that have dominant flavors that I can go and experience and know what you're talking about? For example, that I have one strong oak flavor, two strong apples or citrus flavors. He just wants to basically say, hey, can I have like some whiskeys? that have dominant versions of these flavors. Of the subtle notes. things you're talking about. Right. Yes. So I think this is a great idea. Yeah. And I think we should, at some point, we could do a video on dominant flavor profile whiskeys. Sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because it's a great way to gateway you into finding it and its subtlety. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Now, I'm going to say Dalwini is up there with honeyed apricot and pear. You would say apricot? And he would say honey crisp apples. Honey crisp apples honey and floral notes for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the same is true with the Dalwini 15. I actually like this start better than the um, this Targaryen, I think, was the first one we did. Yeah, me too. It's got a little bit more, a uh, little bit more interesting things going on there. If you add a drop of water before that, it's pretty invisible. Right. Okay, here's to fight. Nice stealing shot. and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.